I think at the end of the day, most people have the same goal, and that's to create things that other people enjoy. Going through the process of creating anything from start to finish can be an incredibly fulfilling, but also incredibly difficult experience. I don't think anyone that's played around with a game engine or actually gone through the process of doing tutorials or fleshing out ideas on their own, I don't think anyone has any misconceptions about the difficulty that can be involved in actually finishing a game. This video is the first one in a series in which I plan to document my own experiences with finishing a game that I'm currently calling Stella Tempest. So the basic idea is a minimalist bullet hell or shoot 'em up with some roguelike elements in the way that the map will play out, the level progression, the enemy and difficulty progression, and also the player's abilities and skills. Right now I'm in the very beginning of development and I'm already getting super excited about all the things I want to add to the game. I am working as a full-time software engineer, so I'm much more of a hobbyist when it comes to game development. I don't really see that as an issue just because it's nice to be able to work on something fun without really any pressure. And it's cool when you realize, wow, I've actually built something really cool and I did it without a ton of time. You know, I was able to take the time that I had and dedicate it to the pursuit of this thing and now I have something worth sharing. Even with the free time that I have, I'm not spending all of it on game development. I'm definitely still playing a lot of games that other people have made. I try to get outside a lot and I work out pretty regularly. So if I'm not working on my own projects, I'm doing one of those other things. These redwoods are actually close to 300 years old. Uh, I like to come out here and walk sometimes. I clear my head a little bit, you know. I enjoy being on the set where they filmed the, the moon of Endor in Star Wars. It just fills me with a lot of creativity. I kind of soak it in. Um, so that's what we're doing here today. We're just walking through that set. As far as my goals are concerned with this project, I mostly just want to finish. And I define finishing as publishing it, making it available for people, preferably through Steam and itch.io. Maybe there's some potential for this to be a mobile game as well, but that's kind of a far off goal that I'll, that I'll think about a little, little further along. Uh, but the goal is just to finish, make something that I'm proud of, and have it available for people. I'm, I haven't really thought too much about any kind of financial goals related to it, although I'm sure I'll talk about that in later videos. With this devlog series, I definitely want to do some of the cool things that I've seen other people doing. I want to take people through kind of a day in the life of what it's like to work on games and how that looks with a full-time job. And then just talk about different aspects of game development, some of the strategies, some of the obstacles that you have to overcome, uh, motivational pieces and things like that. So I'm really excited. Maybe this has been a little bit of a different beginning, uh, but I think it's the start of something really cool. I hope people enjoy the videos. They're a ton of fun to make, and I'd love to keep making them for a long time. So if you are watching, thank you very much, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.